<laughs> Welcome back, folks, to Fishing Planet. So, uh, this is going to be the complete guide to oversized fishing from what it is all the way to the different perks of it in different recipes. We have it all in this uh, guide right here. Uh, so, to start off, what is oversized fishing, right? So, if you're new to this completely, we're going to start at the basics. Oversized fishing is a fish that you get using a recipe uh, and you get bigger than a size that would be normally on the lake or waterway without a recipe. So, for example, if you catch a big fish with a big hook, that doesn't just make it oversized. You have to have the recipe to do it as well. So, for example, the silver bream normally gets to about 2.6 pounds or just over a kilogram. And uh, without being oversized, just normal fishing it. And as you can see, it can get much bigger when you oversize fish it, including the one I have right here. Uh, so, as you can see, this one is just about uh, 2 kilograms for our metric ferns. And you can see that is all completely oversized. Uh, the, uh, each lake has a different size. For example, if you go to Common Bream uh, uh, to, on Russia, they are going to be, the normals are going to be different size. These are normals right down here. Uh, the 8.7s, as they are at, for example, Germany, a non-oversized at Germany. Let's go down right here. Is actually slightly bigger. They can get into that 9.7 range without being oversized. Uh, without experience, it's kind of no hard to know what size becomes oversized and what size isn't. Um, but uh, throughout uh, experience, you'll figure out what it is at each lake. So the question I get asked most is what fish can get oversized? Uh, so it used to be that everybody thought it was just carp and bream, uh, basically, that got oversized. Uh, I was actually relatively new to oversized fishing, so I started to get into it this spring, and actually, I was the first person to catch a beluga and a wells oversized, and then after that, it just exploded. I figured, well, while well, if them are new um, and can be oversized, what else can be? And it turns out the short answer, well, this is basically all of it. So anything that is in Europe that can be caught on baits, can be cut oversized because the lure oversized you can spot out and the lures don't seem to be effective i have tried that um, so everything that is in europe that can be really taken on a bait that is a european fish so for example the northern pike in russia does not work because it's not necessarily a european fish it can be found in america too um, and, and and so forth. Now, the only fish outside of Europe uh, that can be caught that's oversized is that California. The carp can be oversized, and actually, a very little known fact, the Naharan common carp can also be oversized here, folks. And it doesn't have to be a unique trophies, and every type can be oversized. For example, I've caught oversized round gobies, and you can even do this at Lesna Villa. Also, I want to add really quickly, if there is any new information out about oversized fishing, it will be in a pinned comment below down in the comment section. Uh, if an update does change any of this, and also if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments. I always respond uh, to comments unless it is absolutely crazy <laughs> so you're probably asking why do you over why would you oversize fish um and one of obviously the first answer is they get it just for the size and then there are some other reasons for example 
it makes rare fish easier to catch. Uh, catfish of that can be really hard to catch in Europe, uh, can be caught much easier. For example, the unique Prussian carp at Russia, which is pretty hard to catch. As you can see, only nine of them have been caught this week. Another way you can use oversized fishing too is, for example, we are at Santa Breger Sea Lake. And normally you would have to go out to these deep spots without mixing for a uh, unique common bream and what we're going to do is instead of coming all the way over here we're going to go back to uh, the original spawn and i'll use it to catch one just right out here in the shallows You can also use it to catch multiple uniques out of the same spot, although your first one is generally only the oversized one you will get, and the rest will just be normal uniques like these. Uh, as you can see right here, they came out pretty quick of each other as well. Now we are on to the important part of your oversized mix or your oversized recipe, um, and this is the most important thing you know, obviously fishing oversized and fish planet here, but I used to have this whole list full on the left side of recipes. Now I only use three and they're actually all three that I made. Uh, so this is the catfish mix I use for wells. And if you are metric, hang around in a second, I will put these in metric for you and have tested them out. Also, when you are putting these in, if you want, you can pause the video to make sure you get the right amounts. Over here we have the uh, beluga mix. Uh, and, and, and if you guys want, you guys can pause it. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I don't want this to be a super long video. And uh, the new recipe that I just brought out, the Super Viagra. This is, uh, all three of these are my recipes, but this one is what I use for everything that is in catfish or beluga. This includes little fish and everything else that gets oversized. This is what I'm using for, and it works really well for me. And if you want, you can switch out Sweet Crucian for the octopus on cloudy days. Uh, if you do want, it works just as well that way too. Also in here, when you're doing your recipes, if you get a spot where you won't let you put any more in, as you can see here, that's the most we can put in. What you do is you just go back to the top of that recipe there and remember exactly what you had. Uh, so we had 500 riverine. We'll go way up on this, just like that. And then we'll go back down. And we'll go back to the particles, and now it will let us put it all in here, as you can see, right there. And then all you got to do is go back up and go to your one that you changed, and then just take it back down to the original mount. So here are the recipes in metric. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on them. This is the Viagra for everything but the beluga and wells you can go ahead and pause it for that one this is the beluga one here and then the catfish mix is this one right here and if you want again you can pause it to add that in now if you want to make your own recipe i can help you out a little bit I don't claim to be the world's best at this. Uh, I've made some good recipes, but this is what I generally do. In your bases, which is in here, as you can see, I generally will go for a uh, the kind of stuff to target the fish. For example, in my catfish recipe, 
It is mostly catfish destroyer because I'm trying to target catfish in this one. Uh, it is carp, riverine, and grand fish because I'm trying to target a lot of uh, stuff, including carp. Now, uh, the aromas are very interesting. They also help target fish, but they can kind of help target individual fish, uh, individual species. So a particular carp or a particular bream or whatever it may be. Another thing that I find aromas play a effect on is if you put too much of them it doesn't work and you do too little uh it doesn't work aromas are the hardest thing when making a recipe and i generally do it uh pretty straightforward uh almost always use corn and for example for catfish i used a meaty flavor like octopus to help attract them also this can help with weather too uh octopus on uh, the cloudy rainy days and then on the partly cloudy sunny days I use uh, sweet crucian in most recipes and uh, the most important thing seems to be particles I only every recipe I use is is a full bag of oil cake in a full bag of oil hemp it does not seem like if you take this out, I I've never gotten oversized without uh, these or without maxed out per without a lot of particles. Uh, so without particles, it doesn't seem like you get anything oversized. And with that being said, I actually don't use uh, the uh, what one is that? Let's go down to it really quick because I do have one in the bag to show you. I almost never use this mix right here, uh, that Pistoni particle. I pretty much always use uh, the oil cake and pea and then one thing I do really quick is I make sure I get a full bag of these in there and that makes me adjust other things and add other items to the bases to make sure I have enough uh, to do that because particles can only be up to 15% of your mix. Oi, right, now let's get to your mix. One thing to note right away guys is when you're using your mix you uh every to after every time you use it you're gonna have to re-add the ingredients into it manually as you can see uh it won't always show red but i'm using this as an example as you can see the carp is low or it needs to be added and as you can see on the bottom of the screen i'll try to zoom in for you that mixing button is grayed out uh and then so we're going to add the carp which is the last one i need to add in there again and you can see that mixing has lit up orange if it is not lit up orange it means you're missing an ingredient somewhere also when you make these mixes you can actually make them uh you have to make them at the lake but you can actually make them at the lake before a competition and then go into the competition they're good as long as you don't fast forward a day these things uh, spoil if you fast forward a day or uh, if you leave the lake uh, so once you're done with that you can go ahead and mix it just like this and then your mix will show up right up here like so so if you see here it uh, I had to uh, refresh it to make sure what what I yes, or what ingredients I was missing uh, just like that now you can pause this if you want for the setup uh, this is uh, the setup you want to throw out your spod with um, and make sure you have this spot this uh, this spot right here because I actually used the trophy one for a long time thinking it would be the biggest and in fact it is actually smaller than this one so make sure you're using the big spot launcher with a really fast recovery the sped 10,000 is what I use and I just have it on four all the time and then what you're gonna do is it's gonna say it's too heavy but you're gonna go down to this bag icon right here and equip this to both slots just like that uh, now for example just to show you guys what I'm doing we are actually gonna be um, uh, spotting for a big head and silver uh, this is actually what I recommend you start on or bream the bream are even easier if you want a mark for the to spot bream at it is 
uh, right here. And you can use A1 all using the same mix and caster maggots on bottom rods. Just to learn how to start with oversized fish. And what I do to save time is sometimes I spot from land, but other times I will save time by spotting by from boat. And what I'll do is I'll just cast out. You don't have to be really close to your mark. Just make sure that when you cast it, you clip your line, you reel back in. You can have your drag turned down on the pole, uh, so uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then what I'll do is once it's clipped like that, as you can see here, I'm just going to keep out casting out to the same exact spot. I don't even move once this happens, uh, just like this. And uh, right now, there is a bug currently that once in a while it won't spot. If that happens, just unequip uh, these right here and re equip them. A lot of times, if you do it a few times, that'll fix it, guys. So I'm going to spot this mix out and then I'll show you the next step. Now, for all the mixes that I showed you guys, for every fish that I fish, I throw out the whole mix. So as you can see here, we're getting down to the end. I'm going to have one more cast here. And it should take you, if you're really close like this, about six minutes to spot. Um, if you're farther away, it'll be a little longer. But you'll see here in a second, the pole will go away. I can't actually, it'll, uh, you know, just go into your inventory. And what you're going to do is just go to the spot where you're going to fish at. Uh, now, I know somebody's going to ask, well, uh, how do you fish the uh, the oversized fish? Well, it depends on what you're going for. So, for example, right now we're going on big heads. So, I'm using the exact same setup I normally would, except for I'm just using a bigger hook size. Uh, so, I normally fish a shallow and we are using float poles for these guys. I'm just going to throw them out at 15 here. But you, I'm going to put the rods down, down first. So let me go ahead and do that. One thing I want to add too is don't go crazy on little fish. So in most cases if a fish that I'm going after is oversized. And it is going to be a smaller fish like a bream or uh, for example a roach or a rod. I actually only go up about two on the hook sizes, so a lot of times when I'm fishing them little fish like that, I'm only using like a number four, number two, number one, something on that level. I'm not going crazy with a big 14 0 hook on a poor little, you know, four or five pound fish. Now, when you uh, are done oversized fishing, you're going to want to know when to move. Personally, I move after. I catch an oversize of each species uh, that I'm targeting for. So for here, it would be a big head. So a big head uh, and a silver carp. And then I would move on to the next spot. Now you can stay fish and fish the spot uh, that you spot until it gets slow. But honestly, uh, that's up to you. I just uh, catch my uniques and then move on. To end the video here, outside of these first three fish, the mirror, the big head, and the beluga, all these fish uh, that you're going to see up here, I went and went on a 13-hour, uh, like it took about 12, 13 hours, went fishing uh, total, and uh, this is what I got, including two more 109 big head carps, um, and also I had these really big uh back-to-back -back unique 55-pounders uh, at Russia, which if you know in Russia, a 55-pound common is huge. But uh, as you'll see here in uh, the uh, leaderboard, it actually, uh, it does this a lot to me, but it did put them first, but <laughs> it did, however, put my oversized trophy on there, and that was actually bigger than the other ones that were there. So pretty happy with that. Uh, and, and obviously I don't get to fish as often for oversized fish as I'd like. I don't have that as much spare time as I would like. So if you had more free time, you could actually catch, I think, bigger fish with the see these same recipes. Now, these were just some that I caught over about a 13-hour period, like I said. Um, I did not 
include any that were like third through tenth. These were all fish that were just first on the leaderboard or second. Um, so, uh, but real happy for 12 hours of fishing. And that's why there was no video yesterday, in case you're wondering. Um, but, uh, like I said, uh, oversized fishing is fun. Just keep in mind, sometimes you're going to catch a little oversized fish, and sometimes you're going to catch a really big one. So, uh, just keep that in mind while you're fishing. Anyway, you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time, folks.